struggling with postpartum depression. first vlog of our parenthood journey. We're struggling with a demanding baby. She wants to be picked up all the time, but we're trying to teach her independence by, you know, picking her up and soothing her and putting her back down because that's what I read in the Baby Whisperer book. It was working for a time, but I think we gave in at some point. She likes to hear the sound of my voice though because I was vlogging one time where I made a video and she just fell asleep. We got a stroller for her and we're gonna go out to the park and hopefully you know, she'll not freaking cry. She's getting kind of sleepy because she was very constipated the past couple days, but she's doing a little bit better now. We've been ordering out a lot, so this is my breakfast today. We have a half of a breakfast sandwich, cereal, and coffee, Starbucks coffee right here. It actually looks really nice, I'm excited. She's probably gonna cry and scream, but you know, she has to get used to it. It looks cozy and comfy in there. Dawn is getting ready to go. We'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually going to be doing a counseling session with a coach, postpartum prenatal coach. Um, and I wanted to work with her because I'm an anxiety and um, my first step for getting help is to actually just hire a coach and do some counseling and things like that. I honestly feel like coaching helps me a lot better than therapy. I've tried therapy. I feel like I just haven't been able to connect with any therapists that I've hired. Um, I don't know, I just feel like coaching, there's a more realness with it. There's more of a connection there when it comes to coaching. I, it's very different from therapy, psychiatry, all that stuff, but I've always been drawn to coaches and things like that. So I decided to hire a coach and see how that goes. Yeah, I'm just taking the necessary steps to get mentally strong during this time because it's definitely a, a new journey. It's a new experience and I'm on this self-discovery, new self-discovery journey at being a mom and it, it hasn't been easy and you know, that's okay. I, I definitely anticipated this and I think I am doing what's necessary to help myself. So if you are a mom out there struggling, do not avoid, you know, getting the right necessary help. bottles are good for, is it M-A-M? These are good for like colic, 
bottles reduce air bubbles and clog. And then there's like newborn pacifiers that come with it and all of that. So these are really good bottles for newborn baby. formula we're using. She's crying right now because we need to make a bottle. Make a cozy okay because it's kind of chilly <laughs> what's that look you're giving me <laughs> what happened huh mommy just wanted to put you in some clothes for outside because we're gonna go for a walk okay okay Looks so good. everybody it's a couple days later and we have a little needy baby she's going through a leap today is her first or her monthly a month appointment not monthly appointment but her month appointment and she is, is very very needy I might have to to change positions but she just tried a new formula so we're not sure if that's what it is but I think she's just really wanting some attention yeah. okay this is the one wants to be loved 24 7 huh 24 7 she's so big look at her she's only a month old and she's just so big they're growing up no violence no violence child all right let's go hey jumbo you know hey jumbo there was a whole ordeal getting out of the house we're gonna be late for everything it begins She gained a good amount of weight and she's making friends with all the nurses. <laughs> she's so good. I'm so happy that she's, she's super healthy. A lot of you guys were telling me that this, even after a month, is pretty normal. I feel like it's going down a lot more, contracting a lot more. It looks worse than it does because I'm wearing like a baggy shirt. But hopefully, you know, I'll be back to normal as soon as I go through some physical therapy. I did lose a lot of weight, but I feel like I'm losing it back or I'm gaining it back because I'm just eating like crap all the time. <laughs> Hello. Hi, 
This is our basic bath time essentials. I usually change her on my bed when she gets out of the bath. And we have this cute little bunny towel that she really likes because it's like super warm when she comes out. We got pajamas for tonight because it's kind of cold tonight, right? Is it going to be cold? Okay. Well, we have our little lamb sheep pajamas and this undershirt for tonight. Diaper, hampers, wipes, Q-tips. This is like a medicated baby rash cream that I use sometimes. I also have another one that I use, but we're going to put the medicated one on tonight because she had a little bit of a rash. And then we have baby lotion or cream. I accidentally grabbed two. And this little hairbrush at the end of the bath. And we have this little sort of lip balm. You can use this on the face and the lips. And then we also sanitize the um, umbilical cord, which it did fall out, but we still are sanitizing it for this month. This is the first time that Yuji had a warm or hot, not warm, <laughs> hot coffee in like the longest time because she actually slept like 10 hours straight last night. We were talking about how we wish that we could go to the movies together, but we have nobody to watch the baby. <laughs> That's life when your parents aren't, you know, living near you. <laughs> this morning because I felt like I didn't have anything to wear first of all because I don't fit into anything still and I still have like a belly from you know giving birth and things like that right now I'm in Shinjuku heading to get my hair cut I'm a little bit late but it's kind of nice to get outside after a really long time so that's what's happening today Before. <laughs> Goodbye, hair. 